we start moving cattle toward processing area, how you do it impacts how they're gonna flow through the whole system. Here the cattle are corralled. I always put pressure away from the gate I want them to go into if they've been held in that corral for very long. Push them to the back. That'll start the flow away from the pressure. And as you see, you start that flow, you can have that movement pull the whole group in without having to drive those cattle into that next uh, corral. Now here I put pressure on it from the side. I get in pretty deep putting a lot of pressure on so I have to back off to keep the front straight to where I can start my flow into that alleyway. Walk down their side, speed them up, bring them around that corner. Now here I'm just working back and forth across the alleyway. The only way I can put pressure on the front is to keep the back end of the cattle moving and, and keep that flow going down the alleyway. So you just want to put pressure on the cattle. You can see them kind of turn their work from the side of the alleyway and then cross the alley as you need to to keep pressure on the cattle. As these cattle, once you get flow started going into the alleyway out of this little pen, they're gonna balk because they come around that corner quite often. So you just gotta keep enough pressure and we have movement behind the leaders that they're gonna keep pushing into them and keep them coming around that corner. So once again, once they get in there, We'll work that alleyway from side to side and keep putting pressure on the back. You don't want to put too much pressure because they don't have a place to go. Now we're leading into the processing area. Never bring more cattle in that processing area than will fit in the lead up to your chute. This particular little return box uh, set up here next to this tub allows me to get movement started. The cattle go past the tub, circle back into it, and that allows me to put pressure on the front cattle as they come around and I don't have to be pressuring from the back and they'll flow into that system. Well, if you have your flow going in there, they're gonna keep the forward motion of that whole group. So once you start processing on them or uh, whatever you're doing, allow that flow to go through. Open that head gate and make a step toward them. It draws the next cattle in. So you wanna make sure you establish flow in the back, loading them, then you can process them once you release them step back toward them and it'll get them to draw on out. One thing I like to do is to let these cattle flow through the system without catching them if I can, at least once a year. That way they'll know they can get through that system without me doing anything to them. It always helps from then on in processing the cattle. If you work in a tub from the outside, one thing you wanna do is to go to the front of that tub and I'll pull this back gate up when I do that, it's gonna turn the cattle back, which is fine. But then I can work from the front of the tub toward the back, just like you would outside and establish flow. You might need to use a paddle or something else if your cattle aren't handling very well to put a little more pressure on them. But once you get the first one started, just that little swing motion keeps them going. 